we're just two games into the college basketball season. Um, you know, I started out as a Texas basketball fan. I didn't even like their football team at first until I saw them play against Michigan, the Rose Bowl, Vince Young's sophomore season there at Texas. Um, we're good, though. We're really good this year in basketball. Let me walk you through two things that concern me about this team, even when they were undefeated last year. And I see being a lot better about this team this year. We're still young, um, younger than we were last year even. Um, last year we had three seniors. Um, uh, we don't have that, uh, quite have that this year. But um, one of which is Gary Johnson. He's one of our seniors. But anyways, one thing that concerned me last year is that we sort of toyed with our opponents in the first half. You know, this year we were only up by nine at halftime against Navy, and I was sort of worrying about the same thing. But you know, I sort of thought, you know, they've missed some wide open threes, they've missed a couple free throws, and that's just Texas. They're still bad at free. They're still, you know, they've improved a lot, but they're still not great free throws. Um, you know, they've missed some free throws, had some silly turnovers, some wide open threes. You know, just some first game of the year blues is what it looked like. And in the second half, we just opened up. We started hitting those open threes. Not, we only had, I think, three turnovers in the second half. We just pounded Navy. And another th reason we didn't beat Navy like that is because they're, this is a Navy. They're in the Army. They're trained not to give up. Never to quit. Never to lay down. They didn't ever lay down. We ended up, we ended up pounding them in the second half, beating them by 31. But they never laid down. In the end, it was just too, we just had too many athletes for them. There was just too much high-powered basketball for Navy. Um, <clears throat> this team also has, um, you know, and, and before I get into the second thing, the team's height, um, we've got a 6'11 starter in Matt Hill at center, 6'8 in Gary Johnson, 6'7 um, Jordan Hamilton, and we've got our two guards. And that's That's pretty good. You know, that's really good size that not a lot of teams in the NCAA have. That's going to give us a big advantage. Matt Hill doesn't do anything outrageous, um, but, you know, he's a glue. He'll dive on the ball after – he'll dive on the floor after loose balls. He'll, he'll rebound. He'll block shots. Um, you know, he's not worried about looking pretty. He's just going to try to get the job done any way he knows how. Um, but one thing that impresses me about this Texas team – There's one thing that impressed me about this Texas team is that um, Alexi Wongmany uh, doesn't do anything amazing. Matt Hill doesn't do anything amazing. But they rebound, they fight, and one thing they've added to the repertoire here as the fact that they're upperclassmen is a jump shot. They're adding a jump shot. Mid-range jump shot, we, both, uh, we saw them both knock down a couple of them. Um, you know, you saw Matt Hill hit two against... Um, Louisiana Tech and Stone Romani hit one that looked really, both of them looked like a really good stroke. Um, Romani hit one against Navy. They may not be able to do anything perfect, but they're strong enough that they can they can get rebounds and, and put backs in there on the hoop, and that they can also step back and knock down that mid-range jump shot, which is going to open up the entire offense way better than anything that we had last year. We also have the ability to go tall. You know, we saw them at times go with Tristan Thompson, a small forward, and then Gary Johnson and Matt Hill or Alexia Wilmany or whoever else. Um, we can go that big. And we can go small, too, with our three guards and then two big guys. Um, or we can go with our regular lineup, which is still big. Um, one thing that I think is making us better this year, Doge Bao Bay. Um, you know, he still needs to learn to shoot that jump shot, pull the trigger on that. Um, you know, because as a point guard, you, ha you just have to have the ability to keep a defense honest by knocking down a jump shot every now and then. But he's such a fantastic passer. He's improved that so much from last year. And last year, we see him stand straight up and try to make a pass to the post to Pittman, and he gets stolen or batted away. Pittman would fumble it because it wasn't a great pass. But what we've already seen is we've seen Gary Johnson get position and seal his defender off so that he had a perfect move to the basket. You see Doge Valway take a full step to the side, bring his brings his arm all the way out and makes the pass downward like that. That is what's gonna make the difference in this year's team. Last year we didn't have a true point guard play. This year I think Doge Valway is gonna give that to us. 
I was saying how I thought the season sort of hinged on whether or not Perez Ford was actually going to be on the team. I was wrong. Just mark it down. Mark it where you mark all the other places where I was where I've been wrong this season, which in football, which has been a lot. I was, I mean, man, I was just so wrong, and I'm actually kind of happy about this because with Perez Ward, I think we'd be too deep. At the guard spot. That's one thing we had last year. You don't know what any of those guys we had last year were capable of. Because we were just too deep. No one got enough. Not very many of the guys got a chance to actually show what they were capable of last season. Because they, they just could not get enough time on the floor. Rick Barnes is all about playing guys and being deep as he can be. But he just couldn't do it. And our best teams have come when we've played just an eight-guy rotation. This year we've got it's actually a ten-guy rotation. Or, um, Excuse me, um, nine guy rotation, but hey, whatever works, right? Um, Doge Valve is going to be the difference on this year's team, I think. And on that, Tristan Thompson, I've been so impressed with him at this point. Um, you know, I was thinking, you know, he was going to have some struggles. You know, people were saying he's going to be, you know, Kevin Durant esque. I don't think he's going to be Kevin Durant. Um, I think he's going to be more like what Lamarcus Aldridge is now in the NBA. You know, big guy with a jump shot. He can play in the post. Um, he's good. Um, he's really good. We saw him get a couple amazingly athletic, just like unreal blocks. Um, it's very impressive. But it, you know, also a couple times where he went for that unreal block, and it would have been better if he just stood there with his hands up in the air and bodied up on the guy and just played solid fundamental defense. But He's a freshman, so we'll, we'll let him slide a little bit. Um, you know, last last year something else we didn't have was chemistry. Everybody, all the guys just sort of stared through each other, you know, um, and that was it. This year, you see that alley pass being thrown. That's chemistry. They know what the other guy's doing. Um, last year, it looked like it was all just for flash. This year, it looks like it's just because they love being around each other. Dean Melchione, never heard his name before. That's right, it's because he's the walk off. Comes in against Louisiana Tech, hits a three in the last minute of the game. The crowd goes nuts, but that's to be expected. But the bench jumps up. They're pumping the crowd up, you know, they're getting everybody going. They're screaming, they're laughing. You know, when people are on the bench, they're talking to each other, they're laughing, they're smiling. When he hit that three, man, they just went crazy. Um, they jumped up out of the seat, you know, because they like each other. They enjoy playing with each other. And last year, they probably would just been, oh, yeah, yeah, nice shot, nice shot, pretty good. Um, last year, there's just too many, one too many, I think, one and done NBA type egos on that team. And I think that John Hamilton's changed that ego that he had last year a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and the senior leadership of Gary Johnson is always, you always have to have a senior on your team. If you're going to win a championship or even be considered for one, you've got to have that senior leader. Jay Lucas is another guy who's impressed me. Well, I didn't think he was going to be this good. That, this is what makes Forrest Ward expendable. Last year he came in, he was wild, he was out of control, he was erratic with the ball, and you're just kind of like, oh, he's coming back in. Against Navy, he came in, he changed the pace of the game. He changed the game. Uh, he came in, he got a nice pass, he, you know, he, he, that was just a nice pass from assists. He had a couple nice passes that didn't technically go, go down as assists, but he still made the play happen. Um, he attacked the basket, got a layup, got a couple free throws, hit a mid-range jump shot. He really changed the pace of the game, and he never gives up on a play. He's just so fast, he's always going to run after the ball. Never gives up on a play. Um, that means good things are going to happen. Um... Last year, it looked like the team bought into Coming into the year, everyone was saying, wow, Texas is going to be really good. Last year, it just looked like before the season started, and they just bought into it. Like, wow, we are going to be really good. And then after they went 17-0, they were, wow, we are amazing. You know, in, in Texas basketball team, they had a target on their back from that point on. Everyone is going to give them their best shot. Connecticut didn't even make the tournament last year. They were awful. Gave Texas their best shot, beat them by, I think, 15 points by the end of the game or something like that. Um... Texas basketball is not used to that. This year, people have sort of let them go under the radar. I read an article that opened up with this statement. 
It's a little hard to take Texas seriously after their collapse last season. And that is so true. But this year, we're not setting up for any collapse. I'm going to tell you that much. This team is good. I think they're better than last year's team at any point. I said before the season started when I did my prep video, I think this year's team's better than last year's. It's more of a full team. Last year we had problems at point guard. Dexter Pittman took the just lazy in the second half of the year. Um, you know, but Texas is going to be they're going to be good. You just just watch out. Um, I I don't want to make a prediction too early, but the fact that you know last year. It may not have been the Pittman was lazy, but everyone knew what was going to happen after a certain point. And if Hassett turned down, always going to try to bowl, you know, bowl rush through a guy or whatever he did, you know, just pound and pound and pound until he's right underneath the basket and then you know, hit a layup or a dunk or something. Um, this year it means that they can all spread the ball out across and they can go down low. You know, the big guys can hit the jumpers from outside, you know, lane, 15 feet out.